Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to create this box of water flipping inside After Effects. So we're going to create this from scratch. So here I am in a new composition. Create a new solid for the background. And I'm going to duplicate that, move it down and change the color of the solid. Select this Control Shift and Y on the keyboard and change this to something lighter color and you can lock the background all right so grab this rectangle tool make sure you don't select anything in the layer so i'm going to create a box so after you've created the box i'm going to select this because we don't need the fill and we just need a stroke of white and about eight pixel select the shape layer go to layer transform and center anchor point that makes it to the center and let's rename this box and move it down somewhere here so we're going to start animating the position and the rotation so hit p on the keyboard hold on shift and r to bring up the rotation as you can see here set a keyframe for both and I'm going to make this ruler if you don't see this ruler you can just hit Control R to bring up these rulers Control R and if you don't see this line go inside view and you can check this show guides like that right I'm going to drag a line from here and put it here and I'm going to a one second mark to do that hold down shift and hit page down one two three thrice and I'm going to move this here and change this rotation to 90 so what I have is this right so I'm not going to bother about this for now let's, let's go ahead and animate the next step like that again so I'm going to drag out a line from the ruler and set it here and after that I'm going to hold the keyframe hold down shift on the keyboard page down one two two times and you can hold the keyframe a blank keyframe and after that you go ahead hold down shift one two three three times and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and I'm going to move it here. I'll be right back after doing all the animation here. select all the keyframes and hit F9 on the keyboard for easy ease and I'm going to while selecting all the keyframes here go to the graph editor and you'll see something like this and what I'm gonna do is select all the points move it like this and this one like this right so after you have changed the graph like this if you play it back you see that right so we have a problem right now that it is passing this this line this this floor so we don't want that so in order to do that let's go maybe somewhere here and we're gonna grab these handles and move it up like this make sure you align this to the floor and the ruler so right now if you play it back you see that and let's go to the next one we'll, we're gonna do the same for this again so I'm gonna select this point and grab this handle and this handle and move it up alright so once you're done with the flip animation let's go ahead and work with the liquid inside this box so I'm gonna select this box Control D to duplicate and I'm going to rename this liquid 
liquid and disable the stroke and enable the fill to maybe this color right so that is the liquid and I'm going to duplicate another copy of this liquid control D to duplicate and rename this as mask and change the mask color to white and shut off the mask for now and let's work with the liquid so we have the exact thing going on here so we're gonna add a trim path here and collapse this trim path we're gonna trim this half using this start and end so maybe somewhere around here so you don't have to be precise on this so we're gonna set it like this and change this angles using these offset values like this right so i hope this makes sense to you because we're gonna when it flips this we're gonna animate with using this right so maybe from here set a keyframe for the offset and hit once you set the keyframe hit u to bring up the only the keyframes that makes it more easier for you to animate go till the whole keyframe which is the second keyframe here and i'm going to set this offset to something like this right so you can see that so right now you just have a linear keyframe so select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease go inside the graph and let's see what we can do here so i'll select this and tweak it like that right and a little bit like that right so that's fine right after that i'm going to go to the whole keyframe which is the second keyframe and i'm gonna do the same like we did before using the offset let's change the offset values to somewhere here right and i'm gonna do the same here and you know change it like this again and go one more time which is one two and change it back again to this so right now if you see if you see the animation it is like that so select all the offset animation keyframes like this go to the graph and i'm gonna make all the all the graph like this so i'll select all of this and click this and make it like this for all the keyframes right so all right now that we have the animation of the water like that we're going to add some waves so go to the effects and presets and type in waves wave right so distort and wave warp drag and drop this inside the liquid and right away you can see this which is not really nice at all so we're gonna we're gonna fix this decrease the height and width to so maybe i'm gonna increase this width to somewhere here and let's say the speed of the wave should be 0.3 so i want a subtle movement that is looking very nice and we're gonna mask this thing out right now select the liquid and go to the track mat and set this to alpha mat mask in that way it mask out so if you have a little you know wave going on at the bottom you can go inside liquid and you can you know scale it a little bit here so i'll just do that real quick maybe scale it up slight like that you can always you know go and duplicate this uh, liquid control d to duplicate it and maybe even you know i did was uh change the color to a bit uh, darker and change this face and you have some sort of detailing in the water and even duplicate another copy and make this even you know lighter 
like this and change this and you know you have some layers here did some detailing here so that is how i create this uh, animation it's very simple straightforward i hope you learned something from this video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video